Hey everyone! Today, we're comparing the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, 8 Gen 2, and 8 Gen 3. These are the latest and greatest mobile processors from Qualcomm, and they're all incredibly powerful. But what are the differences between them? Most of the people doesn't know what are the key differences between these Snapdragon 8 series. Before going further, you must know what is processors. A smartphone processor is the central processing unit, CPU, of a smartphone. Processors are an important part of any smartphone. They determine the overall performance of the device and how well it is able to run applications and games. When choosing a smartphone, it is important to consider your needs and budget and choose a smartphone with a processor that is right for you. Smartphone processors are released in different generations. Each generation typically offers significant improvements over the previous generation in terms of performance, efficiency, and features. Here is a brief overview of the latest generations of processors. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 was the first smartphone processor to be built on the 4 nanometers process technology. This means that it is smaller and more efficient than previous generations of processors. It is the latest flagship smartphone processor from Qualcomm. It was released in late 2021 and is used in many of the top smartphones on the market today. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 features a new CPU core architecture called ARMv10. This architecture is more efficient and powerful than the previous ARMv9 architecture. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is the latest and greatest smartphone processor from previous processors, but it has not yet been released. It is expected to be released in late 2023 or early 2024 and it is expected to be the first smartphone processor to be built on the 3 nanometers process technology. This will make it even smaller and more efficient than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Here is a table summarizing the key differences between the three processors. As you can see, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and 8 Gen 3 offer significant improvements over the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 in terms of CPU performance, GPU performance, AI performance, and connectivity. They are also expected to be more efficient than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Which processor is best for you will depend on your needs and budget. If you are looking for the absolute best performance, then the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is the way to go. However, if you are on a tighter budget, then the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 or 8 Gen 2 is still a great option. Do you have any questions about the Snapdragon 8 Gen processors? Comment me below. Thank you.